This is Top Accolade African News Updates. I am Soy Bifa Jackrich. Nigerian socialite and businessman Kubana Chief Priest has become the latest local celebrity to be charged with abusing banknotes. The socialite, whose real name is Pascal Okeshuku, pleaded not guilty to three counts of abusing banknotes during a court appearance on Wednesday. Authorities say he threw money into the air at various social events. This is technically an offense as notes falls to the ground where they can be trodden on. The practice, known as spraying, is commonly done at Nigerian weddings and celebrations. The money is strong for guests to pick up and take. On Tuesday, Nigerian's Allied Anti-Crime Agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC), said it was leading a drive against all form of naira currency abuse. The EFCC accused Okechuku of spraying and tampering with 500 naira notes at events held this year in Nigerian city Lagos. After being charged at Lagos Federal High Court, Okechuku was given bail for 10 million naira. That is. $8,600 or 6,970 euros. Just two weeks ago, popular internet personality Barbariski was sentenced to six months in prison for a similar offense. In February, actress Oluwadara Simi Omoshayi was also sentenced to six months in prison for spraying and stepping on new Naira notes. On Sunday, the EFCC said that several celebrities were being investigated for allegedly abusing the notes, and many of them have made useful statements to investigate. Investigators. More than 40 toddlers were taken to hospital in South Africa on Monday after mistaking rat poison for sweets. Upon medical examination, 17 were admitted for overnight observation while the remaining 24 were discharged home in a satisfactory condition. Regional health authorities for Guateng said also on Monday, a group of 10 people including 8 children were referred to a different hospital in the same province. Health authorities say this is all part of an alarming overall rise in food poisoning cases with a total of 863 such incidents reported since last October. They are advising parents and guardians to take greater care to protect children and say anybody with food poisoning symptoms such as nausea, diarrhea, vomiting and stomach aches should visit their nearest health center as quickly as possible. The drowning of two pupils in South Africa who were on a weekend school adventure camp is being investigated by the education authorities. The boys, reported to be between the age of 13 and 16, drowned in the river close to South Africa's capital, Pretoria. They were on an outdoor trip to the Rock Falls Adventure Park and were participating in a water activity when the accident happened. According to local media, one learner suddenly ran towards the nearby river close to the campsite entrance. A second learner followed in an attempt to bring him back. The Education Department of Kwateng Province said it is further alleged that the learner who ran off jumped into the river, prompting the second learner to try and rescue him. However, both learners unfortunately drowned as a result. Emergency services said they had received a call at 15.10 local time, that is 13.10 GMT on Sunday, but the students were already dead by the time they arrived. The Education Department says it will be visiting the school in the town of Benoni on Wednesday. It wants to ascertain more details about the circumstances which led to this tragic incident in order to determine a way forward. Leaders from West African Regional Bloc, ECOWAS, have climbed down on their initial announcement that they were visiting Togo due to the seriousness of the controversial constitutional reforms that the government planned to introduce. Those words were part of a press release that was published on X on Monday, then deleted on Tuesday. It was replaced by a new press release that instead called in it a simple information mission and insisted that ECOWAS delegates would not engage in any other process as in the in a previous press release, which has been withdrawn. The opposition in Togo has denounced a proposed new constitution as a power grab intended to extend the rule of President Farrell Nashibe. The reforms would see the West African country move from a presidential to a parliamentary system, but the opposition says they are a rule to keep Mr. Nashibe already in his fourth term in power. ECOWAS, meanwhile, has been under considerable pressure after recent diplomatic efforts to stir the region's burgeoning military junta's back to democracy have failed.
That is the size of Top Accolade African News Update. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Wednesday.